Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Mkulebia Mila, has called for the arrest and prosecution of owners of private laboratories involved in issuance of fake COVID-19 certificates across the country. He made this call in Abuja when stakeholders in the vision sector appeared before the lawmakers on lingering issues bordering on staff harassment, alleged issuance of fake COVID-19 certificates, among others. Bajabi Amila, who frowned at the situation where authorities arrested people parading such fake certificates without going to the source, said such people may not even know they are carrying fake certificates. Also at the interactive session with the heads of various agencies and parcels under the Ministry of Evasion, the Speaker mandated the Managing Director of FAN to work with the Special Advisor to the President on ease of doing business to come up with a draft in the next two weeks on the floor of the House to bring sanity to the Nigerian airport. Traveling is supposed to be a pleasant experience, not a harrowing uh, experience and where people just basically swear by whatever they can swear some people oh, i'll never come back to nigeria or oh, some people what a country so I, I the ninth assembly is not going to stand by idly and watch the situation continue to deter deteriorate on the need to improve the condition of nigerian airports especially the Musalam Mohammed International Airport in Lagos. The speaker said it is important a law is enacted for the establishment of a government agency such as Transportation Security Administration, TSA, that will regulate the activities of operators within the airports in Nigeria. So, NCA fan, have you heard of TSA? Yes, sir. You we heard of TSA? Uh, we collaborate with TSA of ESA. They were even here a couple of uh, months ago. They come every year and we work with them on the okay. security of our airports, okay. uh, especially so Lagos. So all agencies, for instance, in America, in the American airports, are under TSA, the yes. Special Security com uh, Company or Committee set up by the American Aviation Authorities. Now, we have something similar? No, sir. We don't. Okay, so international best practices, and if we're looking at America, for instance, is there any problem with setting up a TSA-like uh, organization for our airports here, so that there'll be one umbrella organization where all these agents that you think are necessary can operate under that one body? Sir, so I, I personally don't see any problem, but I think it's uh, up to the Mr. Speaker, to help us uh, yes. coming up with... That's why I said that I think there's a simple solution to this, and I think we will set that up by law. The managing director of Fan Rabiu Yadudu says for him, corruption, indiscipline, and too many agencies operating at the airports should be reviewed. Extortion, passenger humiliation, and other negative approaches inherent to the hitches in our facilitation were thoroughly checked and brought down to the barest minimum in most of our airports, excluding Lagos. Uh, Lagos is the airport, fortunately for us, is the most important airport we have, both as fan, as a nation, based on passenger numbers and the traffic. And I believe also the most important in West Africa. But it has this inherent problem of very, very intractable corruption issues, and it's all down to the indiscipline by certain individuals among the stakeholders in the airport. The Director General of NCAA, Musa Nuhu, and the representative of the Nigerian Immigration Service had the same view as that of FAN. The difficulties we face in the airports, we have so many agencies that are not under the purview of aviation, and we don't have any sort of control over them, and a lot of them are armed, and uh, they take decisions without taking consulting and taking the airport operator into confidence. Passengers to all kinds of checks, with many of such checks, very unnecessary, and therefore time wasted. Many times the agencies are literally working at cross purpose, thereby exposing passengers to all forms of demeaning experiences, including extortion. To say all these actions of few persons at the airport have continued to rubbish our image among other communities of the nations is simply an understatement. Meanwhile, on the reliability of the tests carried out by the private laboratories, 
Director General of the Nigerian Center for Disease Control, NCDC, Dr. Ife Dayo Adetifa, argued that some of the private laboratories might not be involved in the fake COVID-19 certificates, but by some corrupt individuals who allegedly connived with some officials at the airport. Annie T. Patrick, Go TV News, Abuja. Thank you.